Well, the right's up here, and it is time to say goodbye. This thing is sold. I sold it to a friend of mine who has a landscape company. Used to have a mowing company years ago. He mowed a ton of properties, him and his dad, and he's getting back into mowing. Um, that's the only thing we can do here in New York State right now, but uh, he is coming to buy this thing, and I'm happy and sad to see it go. I'm kind of happy because it just turned out it's not, it's not what I like, it's not what I want, but this thing truly is a beast. It drives great. It It's so comfortable to ride, you know, whether you're standing on it or sitting on it. I've been over all this, you guys know. Um, I, I really, really love everything about this machine, except for it just didn't cut the way I wanted it to cut until I put those high tail short or high lift short tails on here and then it cut pretty good. But turns out I just wanted a stander that was strictly a stander, not the stand or sit option like this one had. So you guys know that's the reason I'm selling it. Billy wants it sold because he doesn't like it at all, but he's not a real big fan of any stander to be honest with you. He likes some of them, but he's not a huge fan of them. So anyway, this thing is sold and the guy's gonna be here in about an hour to pick it up and she's gonna be gone. We've been mowing all morning, knocking stuff out. We just got done with Monday's list and it's only like noon. So now we're gonna break into Tuesday's list, but here's a big area that Billy mows back here. You can only see like not even a quarter, but it goes all the way across to the far side. And then there's a huge area that goes all the way down the whole length of this building. And then there's a little area right up front where Billy is there. And then there's a big area on the other side of the road. And then there's a small part right where all them signs are, a little grass area in there. But I come around the corner and here's Billy carrying the BR600 on his back and the 111 trimmer in his hand. And what he's been doing is walking around the building, trimming what needs trimmed and then firing up the blower and blowing it off. So he's doing both. That's a go-getter right there. Somebody that carries a backpack blower and a trimmer. That's smart thinking on that kid's part. on here well so billy and i've been mowing all day it has been it got halfway decent like kind of warm yeah and then it got freezing. really cold yeah that one's done freezing. that one's done How that many? one's done we got one left one yeah. left uh, I can't even talk. List? yeah so we did all of monday's list and we have one left on Tuesday's list. There's actually two left on Tuesday's list, but this one right here, this lady that we did last year, right after we left this one, she hasn't, I've emailed her and I've sent her letters in the mail. Oh look, my ring's about torn in half. I was just about to ask you about this one. Um, and she, she hasn't answered me back, so I don't know. I mean, her yard's not too bad. It could definitely use cut. I but, remember that one. It was... Oh, I used to mow that over there. He went to our church, and he died last year or the year before. Yeah. And his son took over, and his son was cheap and didn't want to spend any money. Yeah. So, he, uh, even, like, the last few months when his dad was really sick, he wanted to cut me back to, like, one cut every three weeks or something when that yard used to grow like crazy. And I'm like, no. 
but he, you know, I think he knew his dad was dying, and it's sad to say, and it's horrible, but he was thinking dollar signs is what he was thinking, and he yeah. just figured the more money his dad had left when he died, the more went to him, and it's sad. Then he turned around and sold that house. He sold the house, like, within two months of his dad dying, so, um, and that's the house he grew up in. I don't know, but whatever. So anyway, so we got one left to do, and, uh, and then we're done, we're caught up. So tomorrow's another day. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow or Thursday. And then Friday, it was supposed to rain all day Thursday and Friday, but now they changed it. Now no rain Thursday, they're saying. And uh, we're supposed to have some rain on Friday, but it's only evening. So, which if we get everything done tomorrow on Wednesday's list, Thursday on Thursday's list, uh, Friday's only those four or whatever we have yeah. on Fridays. It so, looked like it was about to rain today. Yeah. It got really dark and cloudy. A couple times on and off, it definitely looked like it was going to rain today, but it didn't. It got really cold, and then it got halfway decent out, and then it got really cold. And it's still pretty windy today. We didn't get them extreme winds that they said we were going to get last night and then during the day yesterday. We definitely got some heavy winds, but they weren't as extreme as they said. Uh, not like Richie Plemons who had three tornadoes come through in a matter of two hours and they both, the, two, the first two, just narrowly missed his house. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty bad. That. They like picked houses up off foundations and set them right in the street. Some people he knows had uh, took their cars away and they still can't even find their cars. So, it's pretty crazy. But alright, let's go knock out the flat. horrendous man they never do their lease or anything year after year and then whoever they have cut it just attempts to mulch it up and it takes almost the whole season to get it all mulched up because there's so many of them Porsche and it's just yeah. bad but so that's it we are done for the day we got all Monday and Tuesday's list done 
and now we have to go fill up the gas cans so There's that we church. don't have to go fill them up in the morning. And we are out of pre-mix. That can is empty. And the five gallon cans, two of them are empty and one of them has like two gallons in it, I think. So, but the mowers are both full. Yeah. And all the trimmers are full and the backpack blowers are full. Oh, you fill the backpack blowers? Yeah, I finished off what was left in that two and a half gallon can of the pre-mix so that we can just fill it up when we go fill up the other cans right now, get it all done in one shot, so. I had, there was just enough in them to fill up the trimmers and the blowers, and so everything in the trailer is full except for the cans. So we're gonna go do them, but that's it guys. We are, uh, we knocked out another day, another two days, and uh, tomorrow should be just Wednesday's list. Yeah. So it'll be like one of the only that's days we've had since the season started where we're not playing catch up. Yeah, so, last week we did yeah. catch up the whole time. So it'll be a nice smooth day of all. But that's it. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. You screwed it up this time. Did I? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Do it again. Do it! Do it! Subscribe button. Alright. We'll see you guys in the next one.